I'm gonna show you one more thing that I'm also so excited about. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new cozy autumn reading vlog. I'm very excited for this vlog. It's currently Saturday and I have some really lovely plans today because in 10 minutes, I'm actually going into town to have lunch with my booktube friends, Leonie from the Book Leo and Michelle from Books Michelle. We're going to have lunch, we're just going to chat about books and probably go to the bookstore. But I also thought I would show you what I'm currently reading. Because yes, I'm still reading Middle Game by Shauna McQuire. I'm currently around 65% of the way through. But because I've talked about this book so much in my last few videos, I thought I would start with a new book. So I have decided to pick up The Virgin Suicides. This one sounded quite interesting and it's been quite popular in the past few months. And big trigger warning for suicide because this book talks a lot about suicide because it's about five sisters, beautiful, eccentric, and now gone. They had always been a point of obsession for the entire neighborhood and all five of them took their own lives. So it's all about what happened to these five girls. This is the one I'm currently reading. I started it yesterday and I am a whopping six pages in. <laughs> but yeah, this is the book that I'm currently reading. I also want to show you something exciting because I have been very busy designing new products for my next shop update. That will kind of be like an autumnal shop update. And I got a few things in the mail. So I just wanted to show you because I was working on this very fun illustration of like just autumnal woodland magic. And I came up with these two bookmarks because this is the illustration. It's like a stack of books with mushrooms and crystals and like a moth and some um, acorns. So I thought I would do a little set of two. One is uh, just one more chapter and one is let's read in the woods. So very autumnal. And another thing that I'm super excited about, I will grab it one second. You know what? I'm just going to show you everything that I've got right now. Also, this tote bag with this illustration is very big and detailed, but I think it's really nice to just have a good look at it and see all the little details that you can find in this tote bag. So yeah, it's crazy busy, but I'm loving it very much. And there's lots to see. So it's a big stack of books, the same illustration as that one, but then um, just black and white. And okay, <laughs> I'm gonna show you one more thing that I'm also so excited about. Because with my last shop update, I designed a coaster of like a bookstall with just a very kind of neutral one. But now I decided to do seasonal ones. So we have now got an autumn bookstall coaster. <laughs> it's the same coaster, same material as the other one, but then with autumnal vibes, as you can see, lots of pumpkins, lots of orange, a little owl, a little squirrel. So, I'm so excited. So these are some products that are coming to my shop very soon, hopefully in the beginning of November. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But right now I'm going into town to meet up with Leonie and Michelle and have some lunch at Du Doc here in Rotterdam. And I think I'll be bringing my Kindle with me on the Metro to read a little bit more from middle game. I hope you're going to enjoy this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and let's get cozy, let's get autumnal and let's have some food. Mm-hmm. Even a bit flutter with the takjes. 
Happy Monday morning everyone. I had such a lovely weekend and then on Sunday I just read a bit and we chilled and we did some groceries so it was a very very great weekend. I have some reading updates on the Virgin Suicides. I'm currently 45 percent I wish 45 pages in the book and I'm actually very intrigued. I'm enjoying the point of view, I'm really enjoying the writing style and I'm just really really intrigued what happened to these girls. I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna be taking this one with me on the train today because I'm going to The Hague to sell my products there and to like restock my products. All the products that you just saw in this video will be there in The Hague as well. So by the time you're seeing this, they will be there. So yeah, I'm gonna grab all my products, have a quick lunch and go over to The Hague and we'll hopefully read some more from The Virgin Suicides. By the way, can you see? Yes. There is my new plant. I just need to get a nice pot for it, but I'm very happy with my new plant. Slowly, all my fake plants are turning into real plants because my boyfriend, he absolutely hates all of my fake plants. <laughs> so he's like, girl, you need to get yourself some real plants because this looks ugly. But these plants over here, they're fake, but they kind of look good. And the thing is, I don't get much light here, like natural sunlight all the way the back of my apartment because of course, that's the only window, so it needs to reach a long way. And I think I'll just keep these fake ones that are above my desk here, but yeah, it's a new real plant. I hope he's proud of me. <laughs> let's grab my stuff and let's go over to The Hague. I am back home again. It's already nearly 7 p.m. It's almost dark outside. It feels so cozy. I read a little bit more today on the train. I am on page 58. So yeah, I'm getting there. It's been honestly a long time since I just read a physical book. Often these days I've been listening to audiobooks or reading ebooks. So it feels very fun to finally be reading a physical book again. Still enjoying it very much. Happy Tuesday. I have a little reading update on The Virgin Suicide because I'm currently on page 66. So I'm slowly working my way through that. And it's already nearly 1.30 p.m. This morning I had a really fun kind of thing <laughs> because um, one of my best friends, she is the owner or like co-owner of croissants which is a is a little coffee shop here in the Netherlands in Rotterdam where they sell croissants in Rotterdam it's kind of it's pronounced croissants which is their name but they're focusing on croissants and they just needed some new kind of fun photos for social media so they asked some friends if they want to like model for their social media pics with the, the food and the drinks and you know just what the place looks like so this morning I went there to do a little bit of modeling <laughs> It was very casual, very fun. Um, I'll link Cozon to their Instagram down below. So if you're from Rotterdam or nearby, it's literally next to Rotterdam Central Station. Definitely get yourself a croissant and a coffee because they make the best ones and they have all these lovely pastries as well. So that was really fun this morning. And now I'm actually going over to my parents' house because my grandma, it's her birthday today. So we're just going to have some coffee there. And of course I'll be taking this one with me on the Metro because I have in total an hour to read on the metro today so i really hope to just read a chunk from this book also have a little update on how many books i've got on my physical tbr because there are only well only there are 80 books left in my patreon book club i managed to finish Mythos by stephen fry which means that that one is gone and i also gave a book to a friend one that i hadn't read yet namely darling girl it's been on my shelf for so long and i just never really picked it up but i was still kind of intrigued by it however I was chatting with my friend and she said, we were talking about like Disney films and she said that Peter Pan is her absolute favorite. She loves all of the retellings and all of the, the other films and stuff. And then I thought, oh my God, this is a Peter Pan kind of retelling-ish from the Darling family point of view. And then I think a few generations um, in the future. And I think it was just meant to be that I gave that book to her. So I hope that she will enjoy it a lot. So that's that. Let's go over to my grandma and I will keep you updated on my reading.
happy Thursday everyone. I planned on filming a lot today, just like reading updates, what I'm working on, just stuff basically. And now it's 6 p.m. and all I did today was work, 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 because I'm really busy pre preparing for a shop update next week and also for the event that I'm going to this Saturday. I needed to cut like a gazillion stickers and that's just a very tedious job. So whilst doing that, I listened to two and a half books, namely all books in the Who Over Leivik, which is the How Do I Survive book series that I've been rereading for the past few weeks because it's one of these book series that's been very popular for Dutch girls when we were younger. And I grew up with that. It's basically, how do I survive my first kiss, my first boyfriend, high school, friends, my parents, all of these things. And I grew up with this series and this writer has written like 13, 14, 15 of these books. But now after 13 years, she wrote a new one following the same girl who is now 25. And I've been meaning to read the last, like the newest one, because the event that I'm going to, the author is going to be there and I want to just like get it signed basically but I also wanted to read it first but rereading all of the 13 books like physically would have taken me so freaking long so I decided to listen to all of them and because they're quite short a single book is like two hours worth of audiobook so I finished the kind of original series this morning and now I've, I'm reading the newest one it was a call again how do I survive everything that I'm not how do I survive everything that I'm not telling anyone. Yeah, basically like that. It's Dutch, so it's not translated, unfortunately. But I'm currently listening to this one and it's giving me all the feels because it's like going back in time reading a new How Do I Survive book. So I'm loving this very much. I can definitely finish it before Saturday when the event is. So I'm really happy with that. Oh, am I still recording? I don't know, I'm pressing all of these things. Yeah. Um, but I'm wearing my coat right now because I'm going over to a friend's house to have a lovely wine and pizza night and luckily it's going to be at her home because I'm very tired so if we wanted to go out for dinner I would just be like but luckily it's just at home so I'm wearing very cozy chill clothes after a very long day of doing so much work I had to pick up a really big package it was like five kilograms luckily it kind of fit on my bike but it was uh, it was just a bit of a messy day to be honest um, hence why I didn't film anything. But I have read a little bit more from The Virgin Suicides as well as Middle Game by Sean McQuire that I've also been reading for the past few weeks. But yeah, my new, my, like my next priority is finishing the How Do I Survive series. Honestly, finishing the original series made me tear up. It was quite special. <laughs> so I'm loving this audiobook of the new one. But right now I'm just going to cycle over to my friend's house, not listening to the audiobook but just the music because I can't focus on the audiobook and not getting hit by a car. So just some music and yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Time for a very Otoma outfit again. Honestly, I'm always living in turtlenecks. They're just my favorite thing to wear. Just a nice tight skirt and then these really cute new loafers. They're like dark red. I'm obsessed. Yay, very Otoma. Also my hair is growing like crazy. It hasn't been this long in years. And also, as you can see, I'm growing up my fringe. I asked on Instagram, should I grow it out or keep it? And like half said, grow it out, half keep it. But I thought I would try something different. So yeah, it's growing like crazy. Look how long it is and I'm loving it. But I've got a few reading updates. So let's go over there so I can just properly film my face. Okay, this is a bit easier to talk, but it is Friday today and this morning I finished listening to the entire Who Overlevic or like How Do I Survive series, meaning that I finished the newest book in the series, How Do I Survive Everything That I'm Not Telling Anyone, Everything That I'm Telling No One, something like that, Everything That I'm Telling No One or that I'm keeping to myself, <laughs> something like that. This really brought back so many kind of memories of reading these books when I was young. It really had the exact same vibe of the book. I'm loving that they were still kind of sending emails to each other, but then instead of emails, there were voice notes <laughs> on WhatsApp. So yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. When I finished the last one of the original series yesterday, I honestly got a little bit teary-eyed teary <laughs> because 
the writer was kind of saying goodbye to the characters that she's written for over 10 years but it feels lovely that she's back and I am going to see the writer tomorrow at the event and I'm so excited I really hope I can just get this personalized it's already signed because I bought a pre-order but I want to get it personalized if um, I managed to you know have some time to get away from my booth and say hello to her and otherwise I'm just glad that I'm, I can like see her hopefully and that I've read this book so yay meaning that I now have 79 unread books on my shelf because I finished this one I haven't read much more from the other two books that I'm reading. I also haven't started a new audiobook, so I think I'm just going to leave it at this for now. And on the weekend, I will just get back into my reading because I still have lots of work to do today. Tonight, my boyfriend is coming over and I'm going to make like a nice kind of charcuterie board for two and just have a very cozy night. Maybe we'll read a little bit, but um, we'll see because tomorrow is going to be quite busy with the event. So I don't want to go to bed too late and kind of be like awake because it's going to be a long day, I think, because the event is like from seven until 10.30. But by the time I get home, because I looked at the trains, it will probably be um, over or like after 12. So it's gonna be a long night, but I am super excited. I will try to film a bit more for my next vlog for like about the event. I do think this vlog is a little bit short. I am so sorry. I thought I filmed much more, which always happens. Well, then I think I have lots of footage. I'm sorry if the vlog is a little bit shorter, but nevertheless, I do really hope you liked it. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment mm, a little dog emoji because this is scruffy and he was also part of the book so yeah a little dog emoji again thank you so much for watching i really hope you're having a beautiful day and i will see you in my next video